welcome back to the plot. I'm at the back of the plot at the moment because <laughs> the sun is so sunny and warm. I'm not complaining, it's so nice. But I've been working away. Also, I have been doing a bunch of things before this, which you may well have seen. But there's been quite a few people up here today. Usually I come during the week, but today it's Saturday. And there's been quite a few people. Um, mainly my plot neighbour over there has been here. So I've kind of been like, oh, I don't want to just pick up the camera and start filming. Uh, yes. So uh, a little bit has happened since the last allotment vlog. Uh, I've been on holiday and all of the weeds have just kind of like been like <laughs> no one's picking us so we're gonna come up so i've been weeding a bunch it took it's taken the longest time and also the other day i got a delivery of wood chip so i have wood chipped my paws which i will show you and i'm going to give you a little rundown of what has been planted today and what i've got to do or or, or the like plan for the next week so I've got a, a massive pile of spare wood chip because I still need to add some to the polytunnel and everything uh, but it's looking pretty snazzy it looks really good with all the wood chip down so doing a good job I think what I have to do is construct the squash beds because I have now sown my squash plants so they will be like growing rapidly so I need to put them in what I need to update you on though is the pea sitch this contraption has done its job I mean it's been a week since these have been in they've had a little bit of a munch from something but mainly intact I think it helped that these were a little bit bigger than others so yeah, I'm really pleased that they're actually doing something. These shallots are just coming on leaps and bounds now. Like, really lovely. I think you can see here, this is a cluster of four. This is a cluster of five. Just small clusters. Uh, this, this is just a single one. This one. What are you doing? There's just two there. This one's slightly larger. Yeah, in the new ones that I planted in the last allotment thing, they're doing really well as, as well. So you can see all of those those sprouts coming up. So I'm pleased I've got to have a nice bunch of shallots, which I can eventually do some pickling with. I did actually plant out my second earlies like throughout the rest of this bed. So um yeah they've started coming up so they will need earthing up soon i've just bought a bag of compost um down as well so that's going to be ready to earth them up this space here I haven't like gone all the way to the end of the bed because i'm going to put in my runner beans along here so what i do aim to do soon is put up my runner bean arch with some sticks so it goes across these two so when you walk down here you'll go through the arch if that makes sense i have replanted some spinach and some chard here fingers crossed they do okay um if they don't they don't but i've got more chard in the polytunnel anyway if this doesn't do well and if the spinach doesn't it's it's gonna start flowering in like may june time anyway so you know should just try its best the spring onions are still doing fine the carrots have not they did germinate but where i was away and i didn't lift the planks off they um they haven't done anything you can see like little straggly bits there but these spring onions are doing okay is plant some other peas some new peas and i've actually got some mesh around these a load of peas Hopefully they'll do okay as well, like the other ones. Oh my gosh though, the thing that's done so well is my elephant garlic. Like, look 
how nice this looks. Nice green leaves, nice and strong. I think I'm gonna get two massive, massive things from this, which I'm really excited about. It's like the one thing I'm really looking forward to. One thing that is annoying is these do have some rust. I, I'm not quite sure what to do with them, with the rust. Do I just take the leaves off? I'm gonna do some research. I think I must just have to take the leaves off, I think. I mean, it's not gonna hurt it, is it? If I just whip them out. But yeah, I've not encountered that before. Otherwise, they're doing really well. Um, that one's an onion. Don't know what that's doing there. They got a bit confused, that one. But yeah, that's annoying that they've got a little bit of rust, but I've just pulled these leaves off. So hopefully that's the right thing to do, but I'll have a look when I get home and do some research. The broad beans are just prolific. We do have a few that have been sacrificed on the edge, but I've got my little slug trap in there and I've now added this string just to help help them because I was noticing that they were flopping over the side. So they've just got the string going all the way around, especially this side where they're slightly larger and I don't want them blowing around but they're big enough now that when they blow they kind of like support each other anyway but just for the outsides I've just added some string. All of these potatoes in this bed here, the first earlies and the second earlies, I have, I did come the other day with uh, when my bark was delivered and I did earth these up so they were just like little, little tiny bits so they've grown that much since but I do need to earth these up, I'm gonna let them grow just a little bit more before I do that, but look at those. I'll just come back here and have a little overview of everything. This rose casts quite a bit of shadow over here, which is quite nice um, for these at the end of the day. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what's in the polytunnel and the things that I've transported up here from at home. Goodness though, it is such a lovely day. I'm just in my t-shirt. It's so nice. It's getting a little bit breezy now, but oh, it's so warm in here. So, so warm and bright, which is nice. So at home, I had my tomatoes, my chilies and everything, and they're doing okay. Uh, they're getting a little bit, everything's like a little bit leggy where the light isn't the greatest at home. So, I'm bringing things slowly here anyway because they're just going to do better here and it just means they're in kind of a better environment to be hardened off. I am going to purchase a cold frame so that I can just take them from here and put them outside and then that be that and then I don't have to like bring them back in and everything. But let me show you what I've got here. As mentioned I've got my chard. Uh, it is actually beetroot, the golden eye beetroot at the back, perpetual spinach and then some ra bright lights rainbow chard at the front and then I've got my tomatoes and some chilli plants and some aubergines as well and just some uh, my courgettes, the squash and the cucumbers because the cucumbers are going to be living in here anyway so I thought why not just bring them here and get them acclimatized to the area. And then I've got my aubergines at the back as well. So these have been freshly watered as well, so I won't have to come back tomorrow to do that, but everything's doing really well, but you can kind of see like how leggy this is. I'm hoping, oh, <laughs> I'm hoping that it's gonna be okay. I have sown some more at home and what I plan to do is as soon as they pop up from being on the heated propagator I'm just going to bring them here and just put them in here so that they do really nicely. I have also bought this little pack of leeks because my leeks at home are not doing very well. They are, they can, ne they never get like big and strong like this and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So I've bought some leeks, I'm just going to leave them in here and let them do their thing until they get a little bit bigger and then I can just put them out outside in the actual leak bed because that is one thing that I'm, I was supposed to have done 
that isn't done yet. It is so warm in here, I'm like sweating. <laughs> but the plants will like it, obviously. So I do have a bunch of other tomatoes and everything that I want to bring down. Of course, the cucumbers and the tomatoes, this is gonna be their final resting place anyway. So it's not gonna hurt if I just bring them down get them used to being in here and the light levels and the heat levels as well what I do plan to do is just I have put the ground sheet down in here um, purely because I had the ground sheet anyway and I thought why not use it and it's just going to help repress all of the bindweed and everything that is underneath here because it's it's quite prolific as I was like digging out the slabs and everything it was starting to grow so yeah I have put the ground sheet down and then what I plan to do is put some compost over the top. Actually, what I got a comment from on one of on my recent uh, video was this mound. This mound out here, I mentioned that I wasn't sure what on earth I want to do with it or how to move the soil. But somebody commented, thank you by the way, I can't remember your username at the moment, but one of you commented and said to sieve it to get all of the roots and the rocks and everything out and use it as soil for in the polytunnel. So this I think will probably do really nicely for one side. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a slow process, but the tomatoes have some time to grow still anyway. And yeah, put that probably down this side because this is probably the side that I'm gonna use first because I'm using this side for storage. I think the polytunnel is going to take off in a minute but yeah um i've just got like things that people have given me and i've just it's dumping ground in here at the moment but i did buy myself a sieve because it was cheap and i thought why not then i can get cracking because i don't have like, the things to make my own sieve right this second so yeah that is you can see the plot from here that's looking good so it's been it's been quite a long day for me but it's been it's going to be a short video because i was just too scared to to film when other people were here usually i come during the week and it's not so much of a problem because i suppose everyone's at work during the week so i'm usually one of the only ones here and it's not too much of a problem so i'll be coming back on monday to do some more probably to sieve some of that soil so i can get cracking on finishing off the polytunnel and I probably will be erecting my bean support, my bean arch. I've also ordered an archway for my squashes as well so I may put that up. It depends on the wind because I don't want to put too, mu too much up that needs like supporting and checking <laughs> if there's going to be high wind. There's going to be less chance of wind as we progress through the year but yeah. Um, Anyway, thank you so much for watching and thank you to everyone that has subscribed so far to the channel. Uh, it means the absolute world because this is my little baby channel. Uh, if you haven't done so already and you're new here, I would much appreciate it if you did subscribe. Um, and let me know if there's anything that you think I should be doing, anything that you feel that I'm doing wrong at the moment. <laughs> let me know and fingers crossed that the peas continue to survive because that is one of the main things I'm looking forward to is the peas. I need to get going on my carrots as well so any hints and tips on carrots would be greatly appreciated but yeah thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys soon.